So we had this volcanic eruption starting today, this morning, uh, very close to the town of Grindavik. What we have seen developing through the day is that the barriers that we are building to protect Grindavik are serving their purpose. So a part of the lava flow is being directed in another direction. But then we had a new fissure opening up within the town at noon where we see lava flowing out and it has already reached several houses in the town. So it's a very serious situation. Um, obviously, this is really changing the whole setup because we were announcing yesterday that we were mostly worried about the fissures uh, and ruptures underneath the town. But now we have a volcanic eruption just really within the town, which is highly serious. Uh, the government is meeting tomorrow. Obviously, we will be prolonging our support to pay salaries, to pay uh, housing costs, but we will also increase our efforts to provide more housing for the people of Grindavik, which have found it difficult to find housing in a very difficult housing market here in the, the capital area. We will also uh, decide on some support for the companies in the town and we will continue as uh, we can to build barriers to protect uh, the town as much as we can. Yeah, what we've been uh, we've been preparing for this kind of a event now for some months. Uh, we built uh, barriers north of, of town of Grindavik to protect it from the from the lava flow. Um, this what happened this this morning is kind of the worst case scenario that we had in our plans that the, the fissure with the with the volcanic fissure would open up uh, both outside and inside of the of the barriers. So part of the uh, eruption was inside the barriers, but the main stream of the lava was north of it and, and outside of the barriers, and that had saved, uh, at least for the in the beginning, a lot of uh, lot of uh, houses in in Grindavik. But of course, we don't know how long it's going to to last and how this is going to de develop for the next days. But we are still uh, long uh, building some of the of the of the of the barriers and trying to. Uh, the west the lava west of, of, of Grindavik, but also now we have the fissure open within the, the barriers, then we have already have lava in the town. And now we're looking at it, looking at it if it's possible to have some kind of barriers or, or, or divest the lava with cooling it or what, however we can do it, uh, away from the harbor and away from the uh, industry area, which is kind of the heart of, of, of the town. Well, uh, we have the experience since, since 1973 to cool lava with with pumping seawater on it or pumping water on it and we have had we had made plans to do that if if we would uh, need to and that's one of one of the things that we're looking at if that kind of operation would help to save at least part of of Grindavik and uh, we have been in, in operation with uh, colleagues from up, from abroad with uh, specialized pumps but also have pumps in Iceland that we could possibly use for at least small part of 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 Grindavik Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.